How to create a flashing light in Godot that randomly blinks every few seconds. And the result you can see in this left room. So how can we achieve this result? Let me show you. Here in my world I've got a flashing light scene. So let's jump into it. Here it is, flashing light. And on this scene I've got only one node that is point light 2 d with attached script to it. And in the script I've got a ready function that I can just remove and two variables. Can change energy that it's set initially to true and delay time. In my process I check if can change energy is set to true and in the first line I'm setting to false. Below we've got a timeout that's set to 3 seconds. After that I'm toggling again my can change energy to true and delete time will equal a new value. This randy with modulo and free will give us the number between 0 and 2 and I'm adding 0.1 to it. But why is that? It's because when this part will return 0 that flashing light could be too quick for normal player to see. And by adding 0, 01 to it, I'm changing the next delay time of this function to be in range of 0 0.1 to 2.1. So if you want to make the spaces between flashing lights to be more frequent, just lower this number to, for example, 2 or even lower. A lot of assets used in my tutorials are available on my asset store. There are multiple free packs to download and I will add more soon. Link is in the description. And let's get back to the video. Okay, and I want to be more precise because that range of time is not representing a full cycle of that flashing light. Because for an example, it will take two seconds for my light to go from zero energy to one energy and then we get another random delay time so maybe one second and that one second will be another time that our flash will go from one energy to zero energy so the full cycle going from zero energy to one energy and again zero energy in this case will equal three seconds and it's presented here below in this if statement it checks the self that energy if it equals one then it gets changed to zero. And we do the opposite in this else if statement. And that gives us this cool effect that we can see in this left room. I highly recommend you to mess around with those values presented in my script to get different results that will satisfy you and will fit better your game. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Bye.